Hey everyone and welcome back to the smoking section. I'm Sean and tonight I'm going to be breaking out a newer cigar. It just dropped not too long ago. I'm going to say within like the last month uh, this cigar wound up dropping out. Uh, I'm really excited to light this up. I've smoked one already. I thought it was an absolute banger of a cigar um, and that is no laughing matter. But before I wind up bringing this cigar on, I got a few little things of business to take care of. So first and foremost, Happy almost 4th of July. Now, there will be a 4th of July uh, special cigar that I will be bringing on, so definitely check out that video when that comes through. Um, the next thing I'd like to kind of go over with everybody is I'm hoping everybody can hear me with my microphone, because as promised, I got a new microphone. So I'm hoping that all that medley kind of sound and everything that I was having problems with is gone now. I'm really happy with the way this is set up. Um... So I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, third, I would love to just say you still have time to get in on the Finley's Boutique and Smoking Section giveaway. Now, what is the Smoking Section and Finley's Boutique giveaway? Well, it's a giveaway between me, the Smoking Section, and Finley's Boutique, which is one of our big top contributor sponsors for the show. Um, so basically, me and Finley's Boutique wound up getting together and saying, hey, look, I had a goal that I set for myself that I wanted to get at least up to 175 subscribers by the end of July. Right now, we're at 130. So, with that being said, we had a lot of people already drop in for this. Now, how do you get in on this? Well, I will tell you right now, basically, you're going to go to the Casa Robles video, which there will be a link in the description of this video for you to go to and you're basically going to like the video, you're going to subscribe to the channel and you're going to comment on that video that you are subscribed. That puts you in a running for this. Now there will be a live drawing of the winner for this contest. Now this is helping me out by helping to grow my channel. It's helping Finley's Boutique out by letting them get some more customers through as well and so that way you know their name. And it's also kind of helping you guys out as well because you guys are going to be getting some free merch such as a smoking section hat, some stickers, uh, probably about five to eight cigars somewhere in there, and then whatever Finley's Boutique is going to be donating to this. So you definitely want to drop in on this. I definitely would highly suggest if you like what I'm doing and you don't mind seeing a pop-up every now and then that a new video is dropped and I would definitely try and get in on this and don't just subscribe and not enter subscribe comment on the video and like the video and then you're in so with that being said um, I'm gonna drop right into smoking this cigar because I am really really excited about this I hope you guys are too um, but with that being said let me get this set up and I will catch you guys in just a second so, as you can see in the title, it is the Cigar Clowns, The Ronald by A.J. Fernandez. Now, this is the cigar right now, and let me turn down my halo light real quick so you can get a nice look at this cigar. This is the Cigar Clowns Cigar, The Ronald. Um, if you're not familiar with the Cigar Clowns, they are a group on Facebook. Uh, they have, I think, about five to seven um, admins and moderators for their Facebook group page and it wound up teaming up with AJ Fernandez and getting out this beautifully unique stick. Now they do have the clown by uh, Danley Honduras Tobacco. This is going to be way different. Um, so this is basically classified as a mild to medium with some touch of full body in it. Um, I think it's a very very smooth cigar. I'm really excited to be smoking this one again. Um, because I, as soon as it dropped, I had to light one up because I thought it was just going to be an absolute awesome, awesome cigar. So please, there will be a link in the description that if you do like joining Facebook groups to learn about different cigars and everything, there will be a link in the description to the Cigar Clowns as well. So I would definitely check these out. Um, so now this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful smoke. And while I go ahead and talk about this, I might as well light it because I my mouth keeps drooling over it because I'm really excited about this. So let me light this up. Uh, I'll start out by just torching the bottom a little bit, getting that nice and toasty. Ooh, I love it. I really do. I really love this cigar. Um, first first light uh, definitely has like some hints of a little bit of like some cedar um, some leather 
There's even like a little hint of like a chocolatey taste um, towards the back end of the smoke. Um, a little bit of like some spice. Uh, I'm not going to say... Uh, it does have a little bit of pepper to it, but there's just a, there's a little bit of extra spice in there as well. Um, beautiful, beautiful cigar, though. Always burns really evenly. Has a beautiful, beautiful draw. Um, that's why I wound up going out with the V-cut, because I didn't have to worry about, is this going to draw weird? It, it, it's a beautiful, beautiful smoke. Uh, it really, really is. It's just a very, very clean smoke. I'm really, really, I really enjoy smoking this cigar. So if you were wondering, this is the Toro. This is the 6x50, um, which I think is a beautiful size. Uh, feels really nice in the hand. Um, I always do my little captain hook over the top here for the cigars like this because it just feels really, really nice just to kind of hook it on there and really kind of get a nice feel on it. Um, not only that, but this is all Nicaraguan tobacco. So the... Uh, wrap itself is a Habano Nicaraguan leaf, and there are Nicaraguan tobaccos for the binder and filler for the cigar. So, um, completely Nic Nicaraguan tobacco cigar, um, which I love. I think Nicaraguan tobacco has just a, a wide variety of just different things you can do with it. It has a really beautiful flavor to it. And I always feel as though it just it, it helps spice up the cigar a little bit, which is one of my personal favorite things about a cigar is just the spice. Um, I do love catching the little undertones of most things, but the spice really kind of makes the cigar enjoyable for me. Um, but as you can see there, you got the Cigar Clowns logo right on there. And like I said, there will be a link in the description for that. I don't know why my light is just blinding right now, but that is the Cigar Clowns logo right there. Let me try and get out of the picture here so you can see that a little bit more properly. Probably not, but nevertheless, it's a beautiful, beautiful cigar. I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to my first third, and um, I'm going to see where it goes again. Does it take me someplace new? Does it take me right down the same path, which was very enjoyable? Who knows? We'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and light this, uh, light this down to about the first third, and we'll go from there. So I'll catch you guys in just a second. So I'm just getting past my first third, and... You know, I'll be honest with you, I, the one thing that I really enjoy about this cigar the most, um, I love the flavor combination. Uh, so this time that I'm smoking it, I've actually picked up a little bit of a coffee flavor that I didn't quite get the last time. Um, still a lot of nice leather and cedar and some spice, but there is a hint of almost like just a regular coffee flavor. Not really like a vanilla coffee or like you know, any sort of specialty coffee, but just like a nice little hint of just coffee within it. Um, really, really beautiful smoke. And I'll be honest with you, the ash is a little cracky throughout it. Um, you know, I actually have, if I can turn this around, I have one big one right about here that uh, was actually starting to fall down this way. If I hold it up straight, you can actually see it's kind of dipping down a little bit. Um, but all in all, I mean, I think I, I think these are really, really great smokes. Um, anything by AJ Fernandez uh, usually is a winner in my book. Uh, AJ really knows how to put flavors together and really knows his thing about cigars. Um, and just the sheer fact that he came together with the Cigar Clowns um, to create the Ronald, I think, is absolutely awesome. Um, really, really beautiful smoke, though, and I'm really enjoying this. I'm actually, I'm just watching a movie over here, just taking my time. Um, I'm not in a rush. It's a Monday, and it's before a four-day weekend for me. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. And, you know, this whole week is going to be just chock-filled with just a lot of good cigar stuff this week. Uh, we got uh, Kevin. Uh, from Protocol Cigars and Johnny Smokes in the smoking section on Wednesday, so definitely check that out. And then we're actually going to be doing a HERF. Uh, that's my first time using that word. Usually I just say a smoking section, but um, we're going to be doing a HERF with uh, Dez from the Cigar Cabin, um, which I'm really, really excited about, and that's going to be on Friday. So I really can't wait for that. We're going to have a great time. Um, it's going to be a great week, and plus we got our very special uh, 4th of July cigar that I can't wait to bring on either. So, um, But other than that, I'm going to just keep smoking this down because, I, honestly, uh, I've smoked this one already, and this one really doesn't disappoint. 
Uh, the Ronald really has a great flavor combination just throughout it. Um, really dependable cigar. Uh, burns really, really evenly. Uh, the draw is absolutely perfect. Um, it's not a sad clown. It's definitely a happy clown. It, it puts you in a good state of mind, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful cigar. So, If you haven't picked one of these up yet, find them if you can. Try and find them because I guarantee you, you're absolutely going to love it. So I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down to my second, third. Keep on just relaxing and enjoying this beautiful Monday, the hot weather. I'm here in the AC, so I'm good. Um, but I'm going to smoke this down and see where it goes. So I will see you guys in just a second. So I'm just getting past my second, third. <clears throat> and I'll be honest with you. It's really staying really consistent. Um, there, there's still some of the black coffee that I'm tasting within it. Um, the leather, the spice, uh, like a little hint of chocolate just right on the back end of the smoke. But the smoke for this is just a very, very clean smoke. Um, it's not too heavy. It has a lot of flavor just jam-packed in it. And, you know, it really does help with the retro hail to kind of pick up on those little spices, um, those little flavors that are within this cigar. Um, very, very clean smoke, easy draw. Uh, I'm telling you, it, it's, a, it's a great cigar. It really is. And, you know, I, I got to say, I couldn't be any happier that the Cigar Clowns wound up putting this out. Um, I've been a member of the Cigar Clowns Facebook group for like two, maybe three months now. Um, really awesome group of guys. Uh, really big into cigars. Big cigar fanatics. Um, and, you know, it's just a really, really great community. And I just, I really, really love this cigar. Um, as you can see down there at the bottom, the ash just does a really, really nice job of just kind of layering on top of each other. Um, this is only the second time that I've knocked this off. Um, well, I'm about to knock it off. So I still have my first third in the ashtray. Um, second third is still piled right on. I left it right alone, and it just burns so evenly. Um, just layer and layer and layer on. Um, really, really beautiful cigar. Um, I, I, I love smoking these. Uh, I still have a couple of them left. I stocked up as much as I could um, with getting these. And I, I can't tell you how happy I am about this cigar. This, is, this really does come out to a brand new perspective of just, you know, some, some cigars that come out that are a little newer really kind of have to kind of I don't know what you'd say, but work their way up the ladder. But with somebody like AJ Fernandez behind this, um, it, it's just it's a banger, to be honest with you. It is an absolute banger of a cigar. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to just keep smoking this down and bring me out to my final third and just keep enjoying this beautiful cigar. It's going really, really nice. I got a cup of coffee over here with me just to kind of keep me awake throughout the night. It was a rough day at work today. So I'm just going to keep pairing it with the coffee and just keep on a... Uh, going through it and just keep enjoying it because it is a beautiful beautiful cigar um i highly suggest you get the chance to try it at some point in time if you can find it um i know some cigar shops might keep a few um under wraps so you might be searching a little bit but if you have a buddy that bought a couple i would definitely reach out and say yo man grab me one of those um so that way i can try it because sean told me to give it a try he really enjoyed it so um i'm gonna keep smoking this down and uh we're gonna go from there so i'll see you guys in just a second with our final third so i still have a little ways to go on my final third but i just had to stop back on real quick because the spice has really kicked up um a lot of those undertones that i was tasting have kind of vanished at this point um there's still a little bit of cedar and a little bit of black coffee um, but the little bit of chocolate and even the leather has disappeared, um, which for me is kind of strange because leather in cigars usually is kind of one of the ones that sticks around um, towards the end. It kind of mixes with the spice and the pepper um, towards the back end of it. But the leather has pretty much disappeared along with that. Um, but the cedar and the, uh, the pepper, the spice still pretty much there but it, it just it really kind of kicked up a little bit of a notch um but still i mean it, it is a beautiful beautiful cigar uh one thing i will say um i i really really enjoy smoking this cigar and i'll be honest with you the v-cut 
was the perfect, perfect cut for this. Um, it didn't burn too quickly. Uh, I'm about an hour and 40 minutes in. Um, ooh, excuse me. Uh, just kind of taking my time with it. It's one of those cigars that you can honestly sit back and just kind of relax with. Um, if you are a medium to full-bodied smoker, I would definitely highly suggest that you give this one a try if you get the chance. Um, <clears throat> really, really nice flavor profile, though. It's a smooth, it's a smooth full body. Now, some full-bodied cigars tend to kind of really be pepper happy, and by pepper happy, I usually mean that that's really kind of the the main thing that you can taste within them. There are slight undertones, but it really knocks up the pepper um, to really kind of give you that full-bodied taste. But this is just a very, very smooth cigar. Um, has a beautiful flavor to it. Has a lot of smoke that just comes off of that draw. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and I will be back with my final thoughts, um, and we'll give it a rating, and we'll go from there. But I'm going to just kind of finish up this, finish up my movie, and... I'll be right back, so I will see you guys in just a second. So as I let my cigar just kind of smolder in the ashtray, uh, I really enjoyed smoking uh, the clown, uh, the Ronald, I should say, by Cigar Clowns and A.J. Fernandez. Uh, honestly, I, I really already kind of came into this knowing that this cigar was going to be a great cigar, and you know, I I'm very, very happy that I was able to grab a couple. Uh, I wound up getting them from New Tobacco Village and Lena, uh, who is the owner of New Tobacco Village. If you haven't gotten the chance to go check out New Tobacco Village, I would definitely give it a check out. Um, Lena's awesome. She has a lot of knowledge. She has a lot of rare cigars there as well. Um, really, really great shop, but really the video is about the clown uh, or the Ronald by Cigar Clowns. Um, Honestly, it's a great cigar in my opinion. Uh, for the price, uh, around 11 to $12, depending on where you go, um, I think it's a high-quality cigar, to be honest with you. Uh, the full-bodiedness almost reminds me the equivalent of uh, the Neanderthal and the Tabernacle when it comes to just a very smooth, full-bodied flavor. Um, really kind of starting out medium with some nice undertones. Uh, the second, third... Once I got into that, still had that spice, uh, still had some of the undertones in there as well, but it all just really mixed really well. And then, of course, the final third spiced up a little bit, which I knew was coming, but um, it was nice to be able to taste something a little different during this second smoke. Uh, I didn't taste the like the black coffee in it the first time, and I found that really interesting because it paired really well with everything. Um, but honestly, I, I think for the price... Uh, not just the price, but I think who stands behind it really makes it a great, great cigar. Um, I, I, if I could, I'd buy a hundred more of them and just have a humidor set aside just for those. Um, really, really great cigar. And when it came out, I was really excited about grabbing one, um, just for the, just for the video. And then I wound up going back in and I wound up buying like six or seven more. Um, they were just awesome, awesome cigars. Uh, I smoked one at New Tobacco Village, and I thought it had a lot of personality behind it. And once again, the personality that came behind the cigar also paired up really nicely with the cigar group of uh, cigar clowns. So if you haven't gotten the chance to check it out yet, I definitely would grab one. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, I believe it's about a 4.7 in my opinion. Um, I had a little bit of flaking of the uh, wrapper towards the end of the cigar, but I was moving it around a lot, and it did start peeling up a little bit, but um, <clears throat> other than that, I mean, the draw is good, the construction is amazing, uh, the amount of smoke that you get is superb, you can really taste a lot of those flavors within the smoke, um, it burned evenly, I mean, there were so many things that went right with this cigar that I really couldn't take too many points off for anything else, um, I really, really love it, and if you haven't seen the wrapper, I'm going to open it up real quick for you guys and show you. That is the Cigar Clowns wrapper, and you know what? I'm just going to, uh, maybe that's too dark. Uh, well, uh, one more time, one more time. Down, down, down. There we go. So that is the Cigar Clowns wrapper. Uh, really, really nice cigar. Um, definitely a 4.7 out of, out of everything for, for myself and how I view the cigar. But um, don't take my word for it. Definitely grab one if you can. Uh, if you can find them, pick up a couple um, and smoke them yourself. And I guarantee you're going to absolutely love it. 
Um, but with that being said, everybody, that comes a close to this episode of uh, the smoking section doing our mini cigar review series. I hope you enjoyed it, and like I said, if you want, get in on this Finley's Boutique and Smoking Section giveaway. There will be a link in the description to the video that I wanted you guys to all kind of congregate on uh, to uh, get into this, so definitely check that out. We're still, we still got a lot of time, all right? It's going to be the end of July, and July 4th is coming up soon, um, so look out for that, but definitely get in on the giveaway. Um, not only that, but check us out on Wednesday night where we're going to have a uh, Kevin and Johnny Smokes in the smoking section, and it's going to be a great show. Uh, those guys love to talk. They love to have some different things, and there might even be a couple uh, special announcements from both of us, or all three of us, uh, on that video, so you definitely don't want to miss that. But other than that, everybody, that's the end of this video. I will catch you guys on the next one. I will hopefully see you guys Wednesday. As always, stay blessed, stay smoking, and from the smoking section, my name's Sean. I will catch you guys on the next one. See you guys later and have a great rest of your week. Bye.